version 008. I started off by creating the game bosses. There were a total of 10 game bosses designed and I did a basic movement and action for them with a very basic animation. This gave me a reference point on how the bosses will look and act during the gameplay and how much of the world space is sufficient to allocate for their traversal. I then restructured the environment around these bosses. I divided the whole world in smaller chunks so that I can focus on smaller goals. And I added more ground textures so that the world looks more alive and diverse. As you can see, I haven't changed them to grayscale yet. This is because I'm still not sure about the final look of the game. I'm still leaning towards grayscale with some basic color palettes. However, I don't need to make that decision right now. And I can easily change the assets whenever I need to. I then improve the edges of every ground so that they look a bit better. By this time, it was becoming a bit of a chore to traverse through the world by using portals. And it was a bit restrictive to what feels good about the game. So I created a new ability for the hero to move to and from the Z axis. This feels more comfortable to play. Because of this decision, I ended up deleting all the unwanted portals and kept only the ones which transport the hero to the different region. I would now also need to rethink and redo some of the parts of the game to cater for this new movement option. But that's okay. I'll see you next time.